Uh, we'll take certain uh, multiple choice questions on data structure. The source and courtesy is from this website. Let's start. Which of the following is or are the levels of implementation of data structure? So these are four options for you. Uh, can you guess the answer? The answer is D. All the levels, abstraction level or abstract level, application level and implementation level, these are the levels of implementation of data structure. Next is a binary search tree whose left subtree and right subtree differ in height by at most one is called as, can you guess the answer? Left subtree and right subtree differ by height at most one, that is minus one or, or plus one, okay. The answer here is the avial tree. Because the property of aerial, aerial tree is that the difference of height of left subtree and right subtree can only be minus 1, plus 1 or say 0. Plus 1 or say 0. If it is more than that or beyond these values, then the aerial tree needs to be balanced. So this type of uh, binary tree, because this is also binary tree, this type of unbalanced binary tree can be can be uh, avoided in the avial tree. So you have a nice and uh, balanced the, the actual tree which you want as a binary tree. So avial tree is essentially a binary tree only with this property. Next is dash level is where the model becomes compatible executable code. This is the level is where the model becomes compatible with the executable code. The answer is the answer is implementation level. At this level, this happens. Stack is also known as, this is the data structure stack. What happens here is, the last one which is placed is the first one to be removed. So last in first out, this is the answer. These are four options, the answer will be A. Now, next is which of the following is true about the characteristics of abstract data type? Now, these are the options for you. Give me the correct answer. Please tell me what is abstract data type? What are the characteristics of abstract data type or ADT as you know it? Abstract data type. For example, stacks, queues, these are abstract data types. Why they are called abstract data type but not data types? The answer is. These are two assertions, you have to tell which of this is true and false, etc. So, the answer would be C. It exports a type, any type, that is the basic data type, and it exports a set of operations. So, set of operations, actually, abstract data type is the mathematical model of uh, storing or organizing the data with certain set of operations which are defined on it. So, we don't talk about the actual implementation, that is why we say it is abstract. It is abstract, but you can implement it in any way, but it should be like this, that these set of operations can be applied. And these are the only operations that can be applied. Next is, dash is not the component of data structure. What is the not the component of data structure? These are the options for you. Can you answer? Is not the component of a data structure, you have to tell. And the answer is, none of the above, that means, operations, storage structures, algorithm, they all are the component of data structure. Next is which of the following is not the part of ADT description. ADT description. Which of, which of these are not the part of abstract data type description. So, give me the answer. Which of the following is not the part of ADT description. The answer is, can you guess the answer? This is, answer is, So the answer is actually both of the above. C, which of the following is not the part of ADT is description? The answer is, uh, let me tell you this, uh, the answer is not this. Why I am taking both of uh, the above, which is not the part of uh, ADT, it should be D, none of the above. Because what I am trying to tell you is, data operation, data and operation, they both are part of ADT or description. ADT is actually the uh, user view. Why it is abstract data type? Because it doesn't tell you what is inside. What is happening inside? The user says, okay, I want to add 
or remove at certain from one end and uh, the other end this is what he is aware so this is not the implementer view so data and operations they both are the dd description so we'll take the answer as d next is inserting an item into the stack when stack is not full is called dash operation and the deletion of an item from uh, from the stack when stack is not empty is called dash operation what is this give me the answer can you answer inserting an item into the stack when stack is not full this is push of course push and removing and or deleting an item from the stack when stack is not empty is called as b pop operation so we'll go with a next is dash is a pile in which items are added at one end and removed from another this is the data uh, more precisely the abstract data structure or the abstract data type so what is uh, this data structure so it, it is actually a data structure so this is q the answer will be q 9 will be b 10th is dash is very useful in uh, situation where data have to be stored and then retrieved in reverse order stored and removed in the reverse order so what would be the your answer the answer is of course stack as we have seen that when you can take an example of recursive function so when you place the values here the latest value can be taken back so this is reverse order uh, next is uh, which data structure allows deleting data item from uh, and inserting at rear which data structure allow deleting data item from and inserting uh, at rear from so uh, the answer is let me change the question which data structure allow deleting data item from from front and inserting at rear what can be the answer the answer is of course the queues okay then uh, next is which of the following data structure can't store the non homogeneous data elements non homogeneous that means homogeneous means say we are having say integer numbers all integers these are homogeneous all characters are homogeneous but you want to place integer here and character also this is non homogeneous so the answer here is arrays arrays can only have homogeneous data element. so we'll go with a next is a dash is a data structure that organizes data similar to a line in the supermarket line the supermarket where the first one in the line is the first one which comes out and the answer is what can be the answer the answer is q linked list if uh, this is represented by a linked list then it can be q linked list so we go with the answer a which of the following is non linear data structure see data structure can be of two type linear and non linear linear means they are sequential means you can search them traverse them one by one sequentially while the uh, these 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 are the uh, say stacks and list stacks list these are the uh, linear data structure and strings also uh, for example uh, we talk about uh, graph and trees they are not linear why tree structure is like this if from one node you can go to only another node this is linear node linear traversal or linear data structure but in tree from one node you can go to two different nodes it is possible in graph also from one point you can go to two point this this so if uh, this type of structure is there we call it as non linear so the answer would be here trees d will be correct herder node is used as a sentinel then where sentinel means uh, say uh, in uh, in uh, c you have seen that in your string you last put it as slash zero so this can be assumed to be as slash zero is a sentinel type of thing so you put something for your convenience your own character or something which is called as sentinel so answer answer here is header node is used as a sentinel in the binary tree next is which data structure is used in breadth first search of a graph to hold nodes breadth first search there are two type of searching in graph one is a breadth first search bfs and the other is depth first search so these are two type of searching so which data structure is used in breadth first search of a graph to hold nodes the answer is q we use q to hold it next is identify the data structure which allows deletion at both ends of the list but insertion 
I don't leave one one end. What this question is asking about is you want a data structure which allows deletion at both the end, both and you can delete, but insertion can only be at one end. So what can be your answer? The answer is input restricted DQ. Input restricted DQ. Next is which of the following data structure is non-linear type? As I suggested, what is linear and uh, non-linear? Non-linear will be. Will you be able to go with graph after my discussion? Yes, the answer is graph only. Which of the following data structure is linear type? Can you answer linear type? In these three graph trees and binary trees, they all are non-linear. So answer would be D. Stack. Next is to represent hierarchical relationship between elements. Which data structure is used? Hierarchical means this kind of data structure. What can it be? The answer would be tree, of course, as it represents. So this is the first installment of uh, our data structure question. These are basic. Next time we'll go to more uh, enhanced version of questions. Thank you so much. Take care.